Good morning, everybody. Let's see if we can flip this video around. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, it was crazy. We got it. Handball alert for them, too. Oh, no, but it was, it was just their... everybody let's invite some people good morning good morning we're out here on the ministry trip this morning but i want to get and give you a few quick words this morning uh, from first john i'm gonna invite some people right quick invite some people right quick billy our friend billy from uh hopewell church of god prophets may join us for a few minutes for a few words Invite a few people. We'll get started here in about three to four minutes. Facebook, please make an invite all button. It'll be a lot easier. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Wanda. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hey, just want to. Uh, I'm out here at a men's ministry fishing trip, but I still wanted to not not get on today and, and give you a word quite quick. First uh, John. First John chapter 1. First John chapter 1. That was from the beginning which was heard and which has seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and then our hands handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested and was has seen it, and bear witness. Shew you unto the eternal life which was the Father and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard declare we are unto, that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with our Father and with our sons. And these things writ, write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This is then the message that which had heard him, and declared that God is the light. And in him there is no darkness at all. Um, the... If we say that we are fellowship with him and walk in the darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, he is the light. And we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ is the son that cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we declare ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we had sin not, which we make him a liar, that is the word, is not in us. So, what I want to talk about today is that in the beginning, God was there. And God was the word and is the word. And when we understand that God is the word, and the world is full of his glory, then we can continue to be the light, that God is the light that shines through us in everyday life. This was from John, and, and he was coming out of the wilderness is proclaiming that Jesus was coming and that Jesus knew, that he knew Jesus was coming, and, and he was the messenger. So today I'm telling you that we are the messengers, that Jesus is coming back to return for his church. And if we are the messengers, this we, we must shine our light. A lot of us, we hide our light. Um, it reminds me of the Bible school, you know, when we used to, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I'm not going to hide it no more. I'm going to let it shine. And a lot of us, we, we don't want to show our Christianity because the world is so, 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 so attacking the Christians right now. And the world is so attacking the faith of our belief because it is getting to the time that Jesus is about to come back. Um, and, and so I feel like John is very relevant right now because, because we are basically John in the wilderness right now. 
that we must proclaim the name of Jesus every single day that we live, every single day that we go through. We must talk about what he has done for us, what he is going to do in his return and how he how he has, has delivered us. And, and if you have a witness, I'm telling you, to now is the time to tell people about what God has done for you. Because see, if you tell people what he has done for you, and then you, then, then maybe they don't give their life to God, Jesus, right then. But maybe, maybe you plant a seed, and and, and and then they get to they get to they get to learn about Jesus, and and they get to understand, hey, why is this man so excited that his bills are, are messed up, and and his life just looks like it's falling apart? But I still see light and joy in him. It's because it, who lives inside of him, and when we understand, it says right here. For the life was manifested and was seen in it, bear witness and shew unto you that eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested into us. So Jesus lives inside of us, which gives us eternal life because we accepted the call to be a Christian. But when we accept the call to be a Christian, that also gives us a call to witness and to go to other people and talk about Jesus and what the good things he has done. Because we must be the light to the darkness. Though if we are the light in the darkness, then we can shine in the dark places where the devil has hid people and, and they're in sadness and depression and, and anxiety. And, and we must be the light because Jesus lives inside of us. And how can I be a tool and a work and be like John in the wilderness is coming out of the wilderness to be a witness? Well, I do that by my testimony. And when I, when I have a testimony, if I hold my testimony and I don't tell them what God has done, like if I don't tell people that God has delivered me from cancer, that Jesus has, has kept me from being smushed between two, two trucks, that I should have been dead, I shouldn't be walking. If, if, I, keep, if, if, I, if I don't tell people that, that God has, has, has took me and, and, and lifted me up even after the loss of a baby or, or the surgery of my wife, and, and, and if I don't tell people things like that, then to lift them up, and, and, and I use my witness to tear people down. What am I doing? I'm not doing Jesus a justice by, by tearing people down. And, and these things were written, that which we have seen and heard and declared unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us. Truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ. You must learn to talk to Jesus. During this trip, every night I spent two to three hours out here fishing, not really catching anything. In this little bay right here at the condo and and I spent two or three hours out here just talking to Jesus reading some Bible and studying and meditating because I wanted a fellowship with my father and and I'm telling you I feel so in in, in endowed and and so 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 excited that 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 Jesus is doing so much in my life um, left the job and, and a full-time intern at, at L Williams and Associates and doing photography on the side to help supplement the income uh, and and God continues to pour into our ministry, um, different ways and, and different things. People just give stuff, and, and our ministry continues to grow. Uh, what am I doing? I'm I'm not out there begging every single day, but what I'm doing is I'm doing what God has called me to do, and I'm walking in the anointing and the calling what God has called me to do. Some of you are walking in the light, but you're walking in the wrong way of the light. You're walking in somebody else's anointing, or you're trying to. If you start doing things that God has anointed you to do, then you'll start seeing things manifest. Like, I know I'm not supposed to be a pastor. Is it maybe later? Maybe. But right now, it's not what God's called me to do. And so I can't do that. Um, and sometimes when I try a ministry and it don't work out, I, I realize, well, God, this is not where you want my, my, my ministry to go. You have a different direction. So show me that direction. I, show me what the light is that you want me to shine. Because sometimes we shine the wrong light. Um, of, when we talk about our witness, so what do I do when I when I go witness to somebody? I'm I'm sure John fasted and prayed and and and, and he 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 took time to understand what God's call on his life was. So what I'm going to tell you today is take time so you will shine the right light. The Bible says that which we have seen and heard and declared, which is unto him, that you may also fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship was with the Father, with the Son, Jesus Christ. When we learn to walk in a relationship with Jesus Christ, we learn to walk in a relationship with Jesus Christ and understand that he is the one true God and a personal relationship with him means the world. It means talking back and forth to him and listening and letting us just let him just love on us and, 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 and guide us and, and listen. Um, sometimes that my, my problem is I, I talk too much and I pray too much and I don't stop and listen. Um, but I'm learning how. 
and these things are not written to, to condemn you, but these things are written where you, where you that for you, for me, that we may be full of joy. So when we walk in the light of Jesus Christ, no matter what's going on around us, no matter what's going on anywhere in our life, we have to be full of joy because the joy of the Lord is our strength. And if he lives inside of us and, and he, he, he shows us the way to walk, then I have no choice but be joyful. What do you mean, Brother Robert? I mean, I can be joyful in the midst of bills. I can be joyful in the midst of trials and tribulations. I can be joyful because, see, Paul said it like this. I count it joy when I go through trials and tribulations because I know in the end thing that everything works for the good of the righteous man who loved the Lord. And so if I love the Lord, it has to work out for the good. And so I understand there'll be times that, that I feel like God has, has left me. And that's okay because that means the teacher's always quiet during the test but i understand also that jesus lives inside of me to be full and, and to show me his joy even though when i lost the baby i was sad but i still had the joy of the lord because i knew god was going to do something miraculously out of that and it was hard at times when i lost the baby but now i have a 11 year old so 14 years ago we lost a baby his name was michael gabriel but guess what i have a 11 year old who is full of joy that loves the lord and 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 is just a bundle of love and and does he get on my nerves oh yeah he does but i still love him to death and because i understand that every time i go through something now as i get older that god has a plan and i ask god to reveal that plan for me because i want god to i want god to show me the way i need to walk because when robert does it robert fails when i do it i fail and, and, and we talked about flesh and, and letting flesh control us a couple of weeks ago. And so if I let flesh control me and I do something, then I give the devil credit. A lot of times it's just me. So, so now, the, this says that, you, that your joy may be filled. So when we have joy, is your joy filled? Do you have, are you joyful in the midst of depression? Are you joyful in the midst of trials? Are you joyful? Do you work, walk, wake up every morning and say, thank you, Lord, for letting me breathe? Do you wake up every morning and say, thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day that the world is full of your glory? Holy, holy, holy art thou, thou God. The earth is full of your glory. This, this then is a message which we have heard him. And I declare unto you that God is the light and in him that there's no darkness at all. So if Jesus lives inside of me, is the light that shines and it could keep darkness away from me because the darkness cannot live where light is. Light cannot live where darkness is. See, because if it's dark and I turn on the light, what? Well, it becomes light. So if I am walking in the calling of God, if I'm walking in the calling of God, right? Then at that time, when I turn on the light of Jesus, the darkness has to go. A lot of us, we walk around and, and not understanding that we have the power that lives inside of us to get us out of where we're at. What do you mean? Just like I talked about, uh, I think, week before last, is that we have the power of I am in our voice because Jesus Christ lives inside of us, and I have to watch is what I say as a man of God because when I say I am something, it activates heaven. And so what I don't want to do is I say I am depressed, I am sad, I am dark, I'm in darkness. What I want to continue to do is uplift myself with my own words. That's not being conceited. That means it is called self-care. I got to uplift myself and say, I am great. I am wonderful. I am joyful. I am not depressed. I am not sad. I am happy. I am blessed. I am everything that God has called me to be. Am I into my fullest part of my ministry? No. Is there struggles? Yes. But I am walking in the calling of God because I believe every single day we should walk in the call of God. This right here says, if we say that we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, we lie and do not tell the truth. So if I say, if I'm talking to Jesus and I'm actually really praying, because a lot of us will say we're praying, but we never pray. A lot of us will say we're reading our Bible, but we never read our Bible. But if I say that, and then I say I'm walking with God, then I'm lying, and then God is not in us, and we're walking in darkness. But if I am walking, if I am walking, 
if I am walking that sun and what God has called me to do, then I'm walking into the light of what God's called me to do. And and he says, if we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, we lie and do not tell the truth. So we can't walk in darkness and walk in the light at the same time. So that where it comes into to about backsliding and, 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 and being a sinner. So I can't be a sinner and a saint at the same time. I can be a, a saint who has occasion to sin at the same time. But I can't be live in the world because we're called to beat to a different drum. But if we walk in the light, and he is the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth us from all sin. So if I have the occasion of sin, I have to go back and walk and talk with Jesus. There's a song that says, this little talk with Jesus, tell me about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry. He'll answer by and by. So if there is a chance that you have failed and you are walking in darkness, whether you're a pastor, whether you're a preacher, whether you're a minister, whether you're a teacher, or just a, or, or, or a, a congregational member, or, or from a different religion, or from anything that you're walking in darkness, just a little talk with Jesus, tell him about what's going on, and because of his blood and because of his grace and because of his mercy, you have to be forgiven. All you have to do is ask. And, and I'm telling you that, that there's things that, that in our life that we go through and we struggle and, and we have to put things back in order. And, and a lot of times that is just giving everything to Jesus. What does that really mean? That means letting, uh, let, letting God know that, hey, God, I don't know what's going on here. Just like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Just like David did in the battle. He said, God, every time he fought a lion, he fought a bear, he fought Goliath. Hey, God, this battle is not mine. It's yours. This battle is yours because I am. Your child, you are my father. You are the one who is my protector. You're the one who is my redeemer. You're the one who is my healer. And, and you're the one who causes me to, to wake up every single day. You're the one who created me, Jesus. And God, so this battle is not mine anymore because I'm your child. And you said everything works right. And it's okay to remind him what he said. Because guess what? If we remind him what he said, then that means he, he knows that we're reading the Bible. Let's, let's finish these last few. If we, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and that is truth is not in us. So I can't say I'm not sinless because we deceive ourselves if we say we're sinless. I fail every single day. I do. And guess what? I wake up and say, God, I, won't, I die to you today. I sacrifice my life today. Lead me. Help me be better than today. Help me take on your characteristics. Help me take on every aspect of you, Jesus. I want to be loving like you. I want to be caring like you. I want to be graceful like you, merciful like you. I want to be bold like you. Am I speaking to somebody right now? Do you need some boldness? Do you need some grace, some wisdom? I want to be wisdom like you, God. But... If I'm sinful, then I can't tap into what God has called me. There's times that people will call and say, I can't pray for you right now. Can you call Brother Billy and, and let him pray for you? Or I'll call Brother Billy. Billy, before I pray for this person, you got to pray for me. I, I just, I'm just not, not there today. I, I can't because I know if there's sin between me and God, that causes bad blood, which is called enmity. And, enmity. And, and so I need to fix that before I can help somebody else. So I... I have to continue to walk and talk and pray to God all day long and ask God for forgiveness every time I do something wrong. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to clean us from all unrighteousness. God is a faithful and a just God. And so he has a, a thing that, 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 that Jesus is sitting right beside the hand, right hand of the Father God. And God, Jesus is intercessing for us, his children. And it right here says, if we confess our sins. And this is John talking. This is before Jesus even came onto the scene. First John. And, and he's talking and he's saying, hey, hey, for, confess your sins. And he is just... In, faithful to forgive your sins and to clean you from all your unrighteousness. 
If we say that we're not, we have not sinned, we make him a liar. And his word is not in us. Every time there's an invitation to, 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 to go to, to give your life to Jesus, and, and no matter what church I'm at, I always, if they give that invitation, I always repeat what they say. Why? Because I want to make sure that I know that I know that I know I'm going to heaven and I have eternal life. Because I don't want to miss out on spending time with Jesus. I want to be that light. How do I be that light? So, oh, here's, a, here's an analogy for you. So, if I have a light switch and the light is off, how do I get power in that light? I flip the light switch on and then power circuits go through the lines and then they come into the bulb and the bulb lights up. So, what is the power I need to be a witness to, for people about Jesus? I need the power of the Holy Ghost. I need the power of Jesus to live inside of me. Because, see, if I have that power, I have that authority and that power, I have the, the discernment of the Spirit that I know who to witness to, when to witness to, what to say, and how to say, because the light that lives inside of me shines out when it needs to shine, gets dim when it needs to get dim, and tells me what I need to say. Because I activate the power of the Holy Ghost that lives inside of me by prayer, by fasting, by supplication, by reading my Bible. The time is now. The time is now. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, the time is now. And say this prayer with me. Father, Forgive me for my sins, for I am a sinner, but I believe you died on the cross for me and you rose on the third day. I believe that you are my Savior, and you know me, I like to always add this in there. I believe that you're my healer, my redeemer, my deliverer, my protector. Because see, God, you're my all in all now. I want to live for you. I want your light to shine in every single thing I do, everywhere I go. I want to be your light. I want to be your voice. The time is now, Jesus. Set me on the path that you want me to go. Not the path that I want to go, but the path you want me to go. Show me who to talk to. Show me who to witness to. Show me when to pray for somebody. Show me when to just to hug and love somebody. God, show me everything that you need me to do to walk in the calling and the anointing what you have specially made for me because the Bible says you know my name. The Bible says that you, you knew me before I was even formed in the womb. And you set a path for me. So, Father, put me on that path that you have for me since I just gave my life to you today. Father, set me on that path that I can see your glory through all the world and all the trials and tribulations. And, Father, I just say thank you that you gave me this opportunity just to bring your word one more time in this beautiful place called Orange Beach. Father, we just say thank you, Jesus. And Father, I say thank you, Father, that you everything you're doing for us right now. And Father, I pray for anybody on, on, the, on the feed right now that, that needs help. Seth, I see you. Father, I, I, I know Seth is, has trouble with me and Seth talk, and that's between him and God. So Father, anything that is not of you, that is not of your plan for him or your anointing for him, I command it down in the name of Jesus right now. You loose Seth right now. As I speak right now, you loose him right now in the name of Jesus. And God, I just want to say thank you for everything you've done. And I'm, I'm praying for everybody now. If you prayed that sinner's prayer and went ahead and prayed the extra steps, you are saved today. Find you a Bible-believing church. Find you somewhere that believes in the Bible from the front to the back. Don't just accept and then try to do it yourself. Find you a good Bible-believing based church to go to. Father, I pray for anybody in earshot of my ear right now, Father, in my mouth. Father, you have made me your voice. You have told me many times audibly through your man of God and, 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 and spiritually in my spirit that I am your voice, Father. So, Father, as I am your voice, Father, I ask you right now if anybody needs anything in the earshot of my ear, Father, a healing, a redeeming, death, ears open, eyes open, 
Father, I don't care what it is. I ask you right now, Father, and I command it in the name and the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, Father. Father, I decree and I declare right now that anybody in this, this area right now, I pray for the ones who went through a hurricane, Father, that are struggling right now, Father. Father, I ask you to make supernatural provisions for them in Orange Beach right now, Father, and Gulf Shores right now, and in Florida, Father, wherever that hurricane touched, Father, I ask you to make supernatural provisions for them, for their household, for their finances, for their buildings, Father. And Father, I want you to let, you, let them see your glory in the midst of it, Father. Father, I pray that anybody who is sick in the sound of my voice or on the internet right now that needs something, Father, I ask you to just go ahead and just supernaturally send your spiritual miracle working angels to them, Father, and lay a healing hand upon them supernaturally, Father. Father, I ask if there's anything that, that we need that, 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 that we don't know that they need, Father, I ask you to just supernaturally do it. Father, if there's somebody that is on Facebook right now that does not know you and that did not read that prayer, Father, I ask you just to send your unconditional regarding love to them, your agape love, Father, that you may that they may find out who you really are and find out why I'm in so love with you, Father, that they may understand that, that you are the one true God, that you are the truth, the way, and the life, and, and nothing, nothing gets to God except through you. How do they get to you? I don't know, because that is up to you and their plan that you have for them. But one thing I know is once they find you truly, their life will start to change, Father. So, Father, I ask you to send ministering angels to everybody right now in, in the sound of my voice and in in on the Internet and in all the state of Alabama and the, all 49 other states. Just send them out, Father, for the time is now, Father, that the time is now to find you, to find out who you are, Father. You are coming back soon, and, and the more people that, that get to know you, the more excited I get because I know their life's going to change, and they can walk around with their head up right when they go in somewhere and know that they are a child of God. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Everybody have a good day. I will see you next Sunday morning. I will see you next Sunday morning. Um. If you need any prayer, you know you can message me or call me, 205-240-5066. Or you can message me on Facebook, Evangelist Robert Roberts. Um, and I, I, I just challenge you, if, if you need some time with God, find a place, just you and, and the Bible, and just talk to Him. Talk to Him. Talk to him, and you'll find out how faithful he is and how just he is. So thank you. Y'all have a nice day. Um, i put this here. If you would like to give to our ministry, you can do a cash out right here, or you can give it a service if you would like to. And I'll show you the picture right here of, of where we're staying right quick. Beautiful place, beautiful people, met some nice new friends. This is in Orange Beach. This is the bay. This is the bay where we stayed at. We got some friends over there. We stayed in one of those condos right there. This is where we did for our ministry trip. We came down here, we went fishing, uh, prayed and fast. Well, we didn't fast, we ate. So we didn't fast, nothing. Um, but just got got with God and, and prayed with him and and showed him who, how much we care for him by loving on him. We did a devotional every day with the, with the kids. Got to lead some. Matthew and Caden was here. Got to lead some of the devotionals and got them, give them a chance to, to minister. There's Matthew right there. He's over there chilling at the pool before we leave. And and I just thank God that this is a beautiful place. And, and we just say thank you and, and anything that you need. Um, I think I put my... I put a, so if you would like to give, you can do a cash app or PayPal, or you can call me and I'll meet you if you want to give a check or something. So y'all just have a blessed day, and thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.